So my name is Kayla Ellis and I am from the Community Foundation. I will be moderating the event today. First of all, I would like to welcome all of our participants and thank you for um, being here with us today. We're gathered here to announce a wonderful and generous gift from the Utica National Group Foundation that will assist with one of the main challenges that our community is faced with right now, and that's food insecurity. We're pleased to, to say that $250,000 has been awarded to nearly three dozen food pantries and soup kitchens located all throughout Herkimer and Oneida counties. The Utica National Group Foundation partnered with the Community Foundation to identify the needs and to distribute the individual grants through its donor advised fund with us. A list of the recipients of this grant can be found in a press release that was sent out just before this event. Um, if anyone did not receive that, my contact information as well as Sarah Hinman from Utica National Group um, are listed, so just reach out. Um, I'd now like to welcome Alicia Dix, President and CEO of the Community Foundation, to say a few words about this great investment. Thank you, Kayla, and thank you all for taking the time with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, this is a special event for us. Um, as Kayla mentioned, the food shortages in our area, whether they're food banks, soup kitchens, food pantries, are really being stressed as a result of the pandemic, with many seeing um, double, if not triple, uh, the residents in need coming through their doors. Uh, it's a really critical, essential need for our community to make sure our food pantries are well stocked. Um, and Utica National uh, is, is really, again, once again, stepping up and uh, doing what uh, we need as a community to serve our, uh, our residents. Uh, our team, uh, Lindsay Costello, worked diligently on outlining the best approach with the greatest impact. And Utica National took that information and is making it a reality. Um, the Utica National Group uh, Foundation Fund has funded over $900,000 um, of work throughout uh, its inception here at the Community Foundation. And it's um, always made um, a, a, an incredible impact. Uh, this is something that is so critical right now in our time of uncertainty, and it's really great to see such a great partner step up um, and be so diligent about their investment. So I know uh, Bernie's going to uh, share a little bit more about what they're doing. It's really exciting and we're really grateful for Utica National support and all of our nonprofits who are working hard um, to, to make our needs, uh, to get the needs of our residents met. Thanks so much, Alicia. Now we have Bernie Turry, Utica National uh, senior Vice President and also Chair of the Fund's Screening Committee. Bernie, I'll pass it over to you. Thank you very much. When the crisis began to grip Central New York in mid-March, we started to think how others in our community might be impacted. With restaurant closings and limited to takeout, we were of course concerned about their ability to survive during the shutdown. But even more importantly, we were concerned about those folks who are less fortunate with food insecurity concerns in those organizations that are the safety net for these folks. And that's when the idea was formulated to help all of these groups. And that formula was simple. Feed those less fortunate by donating grants to fund the soup kitchens that would purchase meals from the restaurants, keeping the restaurant employees working and getting ready to go meals delivered would give a break to the employees and volunteers of the soup kitchen. As a result of the first round of grants of $75,400 that were distributed in April, we were able to purchase and supply over 7,500 meals from local restaurants and feed hundreds of people each day for at least a month. And with this grant of $250,000, these funds will purchase almost 17,000 meals from local restaurants in a month, feeding almost 1,000 people a day for over that one month period. And in addition, $83,000 of the grant will be donated to almost 30 food pantries to help restock their shelves so that food is available to those in need. At Utica National, we are happy to have some small part in helping our community in this time of crisis. We like to say at Utica National that we are at our best when you need us most. And this is an example where our actions speak volumes about who we are as a company 
and our love for the community in which we live and work. Thank you. Thanks very much, Bernie. Um, with nearly three dozen recipients of this grant, we really wanted to welcome a couple of them to say a few words. We have Matt Miller of Rome Rescue Mission. The soup kitchen will be using these funds to purchase individual meals from local restaurants. Matt? I'd like to um, first say thank you so much to the Community Foundation and Utica National uh, for considering us and partnering with us during the, this very diff difficult time. Uh, it, it's such a unique opportunity to r really reach out to the people in need the most. And in fact, uh, when we first started this, when COVID first broke, we provided over 30,000 meals uh, through our delivery. We have a, a RV that we go to 10 different locations throughout the city and provide food for. We're kind of like the ice cream man when we pull up and all the children come out and, and a lot of seniors. The really nice thing about this is that there's a lot of people that are very frightened and they're, they're scared. They don't know where to turn and particularly the, the uh, people with um, mental disabilities, the people that are, are disabled and, and the children. So this is a really wonderful opportunity to really reach out to those, those folks that are really, really hurting during this time. And yet be able to support the, the local restaurants that, that have really taken a really big hit. Uh, it, when this all happened, we had restaurants coming in, donating out the food to us because they had to close the doors. And so it was kind of a double-edged sword where it, it, we were grateful for the donation, but our hearts really, really broke for them because it's not just the owners, it's all the employees that they had. And, and now the, some of the employees are now clients. So they're, they're receiving food from us. And, and so it's a really wonderful thing that uh, is happening here today. And we just can't express our, our gratitude to, to both, uh, both of you so much. It, it's just an awesome opportunity and thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Thanks so much, Matt. We're glad you were able to join us today. Um, before we open up the floor for questions um, from the media, which we will be taking in the chat, um, we also have Reverend Dr. Maria Skates of Johnson Park Center the organization's food pantry will be using these funds to restock shelves with essentials. I'll pass it over to you. Well, thank you so much. And we in Johnson Park Center as a whole community wish to thank Utica National and Community Foundation. Through the 25 years that we have been in the community, Utica National has always come, stepped up to the plate concern about those that are in need and help to provide various programs, which we wouldn't be able to do if we didn't have your support. So we wanna thank you both for your investment that you made uh, in our area. Now, just to put uh, light on how much things have changed, we in February of 2020 uh, served 15,100 for meals. In June, we served 155,628 meals. I mean, that tells the story right there. People are hurting, people are in need. Uh, we are seeing where we are seeing different uh, individual eight people who were living from paycheck to paycheck, uh, may have had a good job and the, the job was lost. A lot of the people that we serve, this was their first time coming to a food pantry. But we are so grateful that things have made, has been made available that we can serve the community and no one has to go hungry. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do, Reverend. You're welcome. I thank you all for joining us today and um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. You too. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. So Thanks for being here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>